Now what we need to do is recreate the sub navigation for all the other menu items such as menu, coffee house, responsibility, etc. I will create a new state for each and every menu item and then we will add some widget interactions so that we can browse through the menu. I created the states and placed the same background on all of them. Now the container height for the coffee sub navigation is 544 pixels, for the menu is 396 pixels, coffee house is 324 pixels, responsibility is 444 pixels, card 280 pixels and shop is 484 pixels. These are different and we need the dimensions of the dynamic panel to adapt to the specific height. In the coffee tab rectangle we need to add interactions. On mouse center set panel state of the drop down menu to coffee and set the panel size to 945 pixels wide and 544 pixels high with a linear animation that lasts about one third of a second, 300 milliseconds. Take into account that time is shown in milliseconds. Then show panel drop down menu with a slide down animation that lasts also 300 milliseconds. On mouse out we set only another action. Hide drop down menu with a slide up animation that lasts 200 milliseconds. And now we can preview the prototype. We will copy now and modify accordingly to all of the menu items and we will see the results afterwards. Let's preview the prototype and see what we have. Looks good, but not that good as we see a lot of movement going on when switching tabs.